Hey folks, everything new under the sun. Well, I want to give you a quick steps one to three, if I can, on how to use a tap and die set. Now, I got this tap and die set off Amazon, I believe. It was about $20, dirt cheap. What had happened was I had my lawn tractor and I, I had taken the blades off the bottom and I had a bolt that was stripped from uh, putting the, the bolt for the holding the blade on. And I was out of luck. I would have had to buy a new pulley or I can spend $20 on a tap and die set and see if I can tap that hole again and fix the threads in the hole. So I went ahead and I bought this thing and I didn't read instructions or anything. I just picked it up. This is an allied set, allied 14 piece tap and die set, 40, sorry, 41 piece. Uh, the part number is 49035. You should be able to find this on Amazon. But what I want to do is demonstrate how easy it was uh, for me to do this. So we'll see if I can uh, uh, do this uh, while recording. So I'm going to get a piece of scrap metal here. And let's go over here. Get a piece of scrap metal that I'll use and I'll drill a hole. It's just uh, plain metal, so uh, I guess the scenario is you have a piece of metal or a, something, a tractor or something, you want to put a bolt into it uh, and you want to create your own threads. You don't want to put a nut on the other side or something, you know, for whatever reason. Or you're just fixing an existing hole. So what we did was uh, I'll take, um, <clears throat> I just uh, picked this one up just for interest's sake. This is just like a, a threaded, it's almost like a threaded rod. Let me set this up here. So, uh, and this is about a quarter inch, so I got a, a, a quarter inch uh, drill bit here, which is basically the same size as this, just a little bit less than it. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole in here. So this is uh, step one, basically. Find a drill bit that is uh, basically the same size as the, the bolt you want to put into the hole. And I've got a whole pile of bolts here, so you could see if you wanted to uh, tap um, some, some holes for any one of these, uh, we could do that with this tap and die set. So let's go ahead and put a hole in here and we'll see if we can get the, uh, the bolt to go through. So I'll put it here. Put it in drill mode. There we go, we've got our hole. Now we don't want to put a, a bolt on, a nut on the other side like I said. So now we're going to try and tap this here. So of course you'll notice that Obviously, you can't jam this in, and it's certainly not going to start uh, threading in there. I hope you can see that. Let's point this down a little bit here, see if I can. <clears throat> Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our the feeler gauge, and this, this comes with the unit. This is actually called a pitch gauge, I guess, if I'm following the, uh, the words in the box there. So what you want to do, this is just like a... Well, it's a feeler gauge, and it's just so you can measure the threads. So you basically want to line it up. This is kind of step two. You got to line up the threads and see, uh, you know, how far apart the threads are. And so, if I'm taking a look at that, I don't know what this one is yet. This is not quite right, so it's not that. So, of course, the bolt I've used isn't fitting, isn't matching any of these. This is a 24 tooth. I don't know, 24 gauge, um, and I think it's closest to 24. It's slightly off. I'm going to go ahead with the 24, though. There's no other gauges that actually come close to this. So, oh, this is a... <clears throat> well, I don't know. So I actually went for the uh, 5 sixteenths and the 24 uh, gauge uh, teeth. Um, and matching that up to this, that looks about right. You can kind of just line them up and see if that makes sense. So it's going to be a little bit bigger than the quarter inch uh, drill bit, obviously. So 5 sixteenths there, if you can see that, 5 sixteenths. And uh, you'll notice by the writing, 5 sixteenths, 24 and F. I don't even know what that stands for, but anyways, so it's one step larger than the quarter inch. The quarter inch is what the drill that I use to drill the hole. And of course, um, this is going to be a little bit bigger than the hole because the threads have to be a little bit bigger than the general hole of the screw, obviously. So we're going to take this, and uh, now what you do, as you take this piece out here, once you've uh, got um, the size bit that you need, and we'll just place it in here. So it just goes in there, and then you just tighten the screws uh, around it. And this is hard to do while showing it to you. There we go. So tighten that up. 
And let's get this one in here. Drew, come on. Um, there we go. So tighten that up, and uh, then we're ready to go. So we're going to basically twist this into the hole. So now let's go ahead and uh, get this twist and hold this up. So we're going to stick it in the hole here and basically start turning. So the, the end of this is kind of um, rounded off so that you can stick it initially in the hole, in the quarter inch hole. And then you just start turning and it should start grabbing. You have to turn it fairly hard. <clears throat> you are cutting metal with this. There's blades on it. It's just like a, a metal jewel bit. Um, so once it's through, so you want to keep going for the depth of your hole. Obviously, you can see it popped out the other side there. We'll keep going to clean out, uh, make sure we have a good threads there. And there, once it gets easy, you know you went all the way through there. You can kind of see it all the way through. So we'll unwind that. And you can see the metal shavings coming off it as well. And then what you can do, now we've got nice threaded holes in there if you can see it. And we'll see if our, our bolt fits in there now. And it does, look at that. Now we have a threaded hole and a bolt. So you can repeat the process, drill another hole and uh, you're good to go. And this did turn out to be the, the correct thread. Because it's working all the way, no problem. So there you go. I hope you can see that. No nut required. Got your bolt through. So that is uh, really s the easy steps. So to uh, kind of cover them again, first you want to know kind of the size of your, the uh, the bolt that you want to put into the hole. If it's a quarter inch or whatever, you get obviously a metal drill bit, which is uh, slightly smaller than it, and it should be because the thread should be uh, beyond the size of the actual core of the bolt. You get your feeler uh, to find the correct number for the uh, the thread gauge. And then you look for the thread gauge up here and the size of the bit, which is one step larger um, than the drill bit you use to drill the hole. And then you go ahead and put it in your, in your uh, wrench device and uh, twist it on until it cuts the metal, cuts the hole. And you can see the sh metal shavings on there. And then you're done. That is it. So that is for the tap. Um, the die is uh, pretty much the same issue. Um, I haven't used the die yet, um, but it's the same idea. You put your your your, uh, your bolt, which isn't a bolt yet, I guess, your, your rod of metal in there, and it will cut um, threads onto your, onto your rod of metal. So that's it, three steps to using it. Now, I'm sure you can get pretty technical with uh, all the other things um, and options here. But if you were just trying to uh, save yourself um, because you uh, stripped a hole or something, you can go to the next larger size um, and uh, tap your own threads on there and uh, you've saved a pile of money. For $20, this saved probably $50 in parts. And um, if I was to send it away and have someone fix it for me, it'd probably save another $50 in labor. So this paid for itself um, already one use it paid for itself uh, in what I would have otherwise had to use. So feeler gauge, find the right bit, um, drill it out, and you're done. These other wrenches here are obviously for the for the die, um, the die nuts, if you want to call them that. And uh, you know it would be a similar process. Figure out the the thread gauge that you need. That's why this uh, pitch gauge is important. Uh, pitch gauge, I guess I should name it. And yeah, there it is. 20 bucks off Amazon Allied Kit 41 piece tap and die set. This is way easier um, than <clears throat> I ever thought it would be. This is um, really, I just picked it up. I didn't read any instructions. I picked it up, found the feeler gauge. It worked first time. Got, got the correct uh, pitch gauge, uh, pitch um, on my screw and put it together. And uh, quite literally in 10 minutes, I had my, my bolt hole fixed on my lawn tractor and I was good to go so I hope you found that interesting and helpful I hope that helps the next guy and encourages you to really get out there and try these new tools uh, the, having the correct tools for the job uh, helps so much and this being a $20 set I mean this is a no-brainer if you had to send that in to get someone to tap that for you 
you're probably going to look at a, an hour shop fee or something. And if you get this kit, well, you can use it anywhere else. You can make your own uh, bolts like that. Like That's brilliant. How useful will that be to make my own bolt holes, threaded bolt holes? So it's worked awesome and um, definitely recommend it. Just get out there and try it. It's a no-brainer. Steps one to three, just like I said. So thanks for watching. Um, please share this around. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. We'll see you guys in the next video. Okay.